Hey you guys, what's up? It's Tylea here with a brand new video. And before we get into the video, like, share, subscribe. And if you're brand new, welcome to my channel. My name's Tylea Flores. I am a 28 year old disability activist born with spastic diplegia, the most common form of cerebral palsy, but I have never allowed it to take away from my will and determination. I am a Amazon bestselling author and I publish books mostly about disability in all genres. And then I am a radio show host personality and as of yet a certified mental health care counselor online via an application. And I'm excited to announce that you guys because I have graduated from the program. So I should be getting my certificate in a couple of days and I'm really excited to share that with you guys. I don't know if I should do a video of me hanging it up in my room as like a graduation because we don't get like a typical graduation. You just get a certificate, but it comes to show that hard work pays off. But for today's video, I want to talk about the five things I would want somebody to know about cerebral palsy. Number one, this is the first one. Number one, cerebral palsy is not a condition that just affects our childhood. It affects our whole livelihood. And I can't express that enough. You know, a lot of the times, well, not a lot of the times, all the time, the biggest misconception about cerebral palsy, oh, it only lasts during childhood, which that misconception has caused us a lot of problems as we enter adulthood. You know why? Because there's no research for adults with cerebral palsy in the healthcare system. And let me just be honest, it feels like you're going into the Willy Wonka factory, you got the golden ticket, and you came out as the guy that was stretched out and and the girl that was, um, what was she? Was she a, a blueberry when she came out of the Wonker factory? And Willy Wonker's just smiling. That is the healthcare system for those with CP and adults, folks. Come on, we've been dealing with CP for many years now, since the 1800s, since Dr. William Little discovered it. And we still have this misconception. Number two, adults with CP cannot live normal lives. And that is false. I'm here to tell you that is false. We can live normal lives. We do live normal lives. We do have a social life. We do desire love and all those things. Number three. Okay. Number three. People with cerebral palsy are all the same. No, we're not. Um, The perfect way to describe my beautiful community of diverse people is like when you go to get a bag of Chex Mix and you never know what's going to be in your hand. Yeah, that's us. Number four, people with cerebral palsy. People with cerebral palsy cannot have a job. They cannot be successful in the work field. Not true. Speaking as someone who works for herself, speaking for someone who... Uh, works for a mental health uh, application online as a uh, mental health counselor via a chat box. That is not true. Number, okay, what was that? Number four? Number five. Okay, this is the last one, y'all. And I think, think you guys are going to know what it is. People with cerebral palsy, it's a, it's a disease and we, we can die. No. Eh, absolutely wrong. People with cerebral palsy do not have a disease. It is a condition that affects one part of the brain or two parts of the brain or multiple motor functions. It does not determine if we're going to die and it is not a disease. It is a sickness. It is not a sickness. It is a condition, you know. And I can understand why people would think that it is a disease because back when William, Dr. William Little discovered cerebral palsy, he, um, they named it Little's disease because they wanted to name it after him. So, and they thought it was a disease that, uh, was, um, 
that was deadly, but it's, it's, it's not. It's a, it's a, uh, lifelong lasting condition that affects every part of you. And, um, so yeah, those are the five things that people should know about CP for this month. And now, I want to get into what green means to me. So, what wearing this color means to me is that, you know, I'm on a unique journey and it, it's been a rough one, but it's led me to some beautiful destinations and that's why I keep going, you know, that's why I keep striving to be the best that I could be despite my disability because cerebral palsy has given me such a unique perspective. There's days where I like it and there's days where I just don't, but it's but it's led me to where I am today, and I just want to wish everyone a happy Cerebral Palsy Awareness Month. So, with that being said, folks, over and out. Talk to you later. Bye.